What's up, my fellow Eagles fans? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Roy back again with another episode of the Preaching the Birds podcast. We like to bring the latest and breaking Eagles news that comes to you and just tell you the real hard hitting truths. We come, you come here for the Eagles gospel. Nothing but the truth is what I'm going to tell you, baby. So, with that being said, let's get started. So, the Eagles are blessed, right? We're blessed with a couple things. For one, we have a quarterback like our Jalen Hurts and not like Jordan Love. You know what I'm saying? Jordan Love is out here attending practice but not participating in practice in the sense of he will not practice until he gets paid. And we do not have those problems. So very thankful for Jalen Hurts. Very thankful for Jalen Hurts. But today, we're not here to talk about the Packers. We're here to talk about the Giants. We're here to talk about Nick Sirianni, right? So we have, for people who do not know, we have one more day until the Eagles training camp starts on July 23rd. If you're looking to go to the actual open practice, which we only have one of those these, this year, it starts on August 1st at the Lincoln Financial Field. Uh, hopefully, you can attend that for me. Give me some information if you got it. I would love to. I live in California, for those who don't know, so I can't go, and I, I want to know for sure, so I can report on it. You know, I'm obviously going to be paying attention to the major players, uh, the Elliott Shore Parks, the Chris Franklins of that ilk, you know what I mean? But with that being said, I would love to hear from you, but with that being said, let's get into the main thing that I'm here to talk about, which is Nick Sirianni and the Giants organization, which is Buns, All right? So you're going to see some clips from the video uh, from the from the hard knocks. I pieced together these clips from Twitter. I'm gonna be honest with you, they're probably not gonna be in order of how hard knocks came out. I'm not a Giants fan. I don't give about the Giants, but I'm here to tell you something. I'm here to tell you the truth. I'm here to tell you what nobody else has been willing to say, at least not in these manners or in these words, right? The Giants, they're buns. Their buns, the way they treated Saquon is absolute garbage. And it needs to be stated that just the way they did Saquon is absolutely dirty. Just absolutely dirty. And they deserve what they're going to get. And that's two L's back to back this season, right? So with that being said, let's get into the video. I'm, you know, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. And I'm going to show you why. The GM for the Giants is absolute garbage, right? All right, I'm going to call Saquon's guy. Good day for you. Good day to be Ed Berry. Oh, what's what's my man going to get? North of what you said? 12 and a half APY, 25 guaranteed. North of that? I, again, we're not gonna, we're not gonna go there. We're out. It, it, is it, is it in the division? I just, I'm trying to prepare myself mentally for what's gonna happen. I mean, that's all. Just, okay. All right, I do like the optionality of trade we're seeing, but the prices fucking suck. The price isn't just the uncertainty. We have no control over this. No. We have no control over it. We can make offers, do all the homework that we want, stay up till five in the morning doing scenarios. Well, I mean, think about all the meetings, all the film, here all weekend, like just to come up with these names, these price points. And it's totally out of your control. No. Totally out of your control. Did you guys see the amount of cap that that GM has? Joe whatever? Bro, you're cap, bro. You're straight cap. You're saying things like we have no control of the situation. No matter how much work we do, not how many simulations. Cap, bro. 
all cap. If you really wanted Saquon, you would have signed him before you signed your quarterback. You would have done it before you signed Daniel Jones. You let your identity go. And especially with the words that your freaking owner told you, you should have never let him go. Where, 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 what's the latest? Just on the safe one thing. I just got a text that Chicago's driving the price up and Philly's out. I don't know if that's true or not. Mm. <laughs> Which I don't know if that, I'll make a couple of calls. I don't even know if that's gonna, gonna happen, but. I'm going to have a tough time sleeping if Saquon goes to Philadelphia, I'll tell you that. As I've told you, just being out. I, I have been around enough players. So, but he's the he, he's the most popular player we have by far. Yeah. John K. Mara literally told you, Joseph Schoon, that he would be sick. He would be sick if he saw Saquon Barkley play for a divisional team. The Eagles specifically. And you just sit here capping. Saying there is nothing you could have done. Nothing you could have done. All this work you put in. It was for naught. You know. All this work you put in. All this, the simulations you did. Your cap bro. You didn't try hard enough. You didn't think long enough. You didn't do what Howie Roseman does. And that is sign players to deals that you want to keep before their four years are up. Let's just be honest. You're a bad GM, bro. You're a bad GM in that aspect. Yeah, you're doing well in the regards of you're building an offensive line. You're getting Daniel Jones some talented wide receivers to play around with. But realistically speaking, you let your best player go. You let your identity go. And for that... Hopefully you go into NFL hell, which means no job. No job, okay? You don't deserve a job there. I'm sorry, nobody else has said it. And realistically speaking, you don't deserve a job, bro. For the way you handle this. For the way you handle this publicly, bro. Like, if you hadn't done this on a hard knocks, we could have gave you a pass. Yeah, you built the old line like you said you were. Yeah, you got Daniel Jones you know, some weapons and protection for once. Cool. Awesome. I think that's those are great things. I want to point that out, Giants fans, that I think those are great things that he did. But for the way you handled Saquon Barkley, your identity, your best player, the most loved player on your team is absolute garbage. And that's why, in my opinion, if the Eagles go to the Super Bowl and you guys look like ass, which is, you know, a real possibility here, I think it's really, really time for you to look at a different GM, just being honest. But with that being said, that's all I really have to say about the Giants news, because somebody had to say it. Somebody had to say it. The way they handled that, it was so incorrect. It was so wrong. It was so disgusting. Your GM, Joseph Schoon, Joseph Schoon whatever, he got to go. He got to go. Somebody had to say it. But let's talk about our Eagles team. Let's talk about Nick Sirianni. So recently... Recently, we had one of our reporters come online. Just bringing back the reports of, you know, Nick Sirianni and his offense getting stale towards the end of the season. Players not being able to run the plays they want to, like A.J. Brown saying the offense was stale. Lane Johnson saying we need to run the ball more, et cetera, et cetera. And how that led to a rift between are Jalen Hurts and Nick Sirianni and whether our Nick Sirianni is now on the hot seat and I'm gonna go on record I've been on record saying that Nick Sirianni is on the hot seat for sure not only does he have Kellen Moore a former player that was in the NFL and a former person of interest that Howie Roseman had Literally circled for the job that Nick Sirianni has now. I mean, realistically, the writing is, the writing is on the wall, man. The writing is on the wall. 
Nick Sirianni's job is definitely in jeopardy. If we do not, and I'm going to say it again, if we do not go at least 2-2 two and two to start the season, be forewarned. Nick Sirianni's probably up out of there. He's probably up out of there. He's probably gone. Deuce, deuce. Peace out. Sayonara, however you want to say it. He's probably up out of this thing. I'm just being honest with you. Just being honest with you. I'm not here to cap. I'm here to bring in the Eagles gospel, baby. We got to start strong or we're going to have to get a new CEO of the team, man. We're going to have to get a new head coach. We're going to have to get somebody new up in there. Because realistically speaking, the way we ended the season was garbage. Five and six. Mostly else. <laughs> you know what I mean? We started out 11 and one. It was disgusting. I mean, it is what it is. We lost five out of six games, baby. So if we don't start out strong, if our heart doesn't come back, if 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 we don't have fight, next year you gotta go. But right, that's all I really got for y'all today. I hope you're having a great day. Like I said, training camp starts tomorrow, so plenty of news gonna be dropping throughout the week. Once again, open practice is August first. But let me know how you guys feel. Do you think it's Nick Sirianni's time to go if we don't start fast? Do you think we should give him another season? Because we've been to, you know, multiple playoff appearances. In the, and ever since Nick Sirianni's been our coach, we've been to the playoffs. Do you think he, he deserves another chance if we don't go this year? Or, you know, you think it's time for him to get up out of here regardless of what he does if we, if we don't get a chip? Or, you know, how do you feel about the Giants. You think I was wrong. You think I was a little overly critical. If you're, but if you're a Giant fan, I, I just want this to be completely honest. I'm gonna get close to the camera for you. You guys are buns, bro. You guys are absolutely buns. The way you guys treated Saquon, the way you guys talk about Saquon, saying this, that, and the other, you guys are ass. And I see why your rent is so high, because God don't like ugly. God don't like ugly. He don't like it. And y'all just be doing all the extra stuff saying we ain't going to get the type of running back we think we get in. Blah, 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 blah. He's washed, 26, 27 years old. Okay. All right. Mm hmm. We're going to see. We're going to see because I think we get an explosive back. I don't think we get a ground and pounder, but I think we get a dude that if there is an open lane, he can run through it at 100 miles an hour. And we can get 1,200, 1,300 yards from him. And we can pass the ball to him. If we so choose to actually run the ball. Nick Sirianni. All right, that's all I really got for y'all. Hope you're having a good day. Peace out. Screw.